Imagine pouring all your energy into trying to win a woman's respect, only to find it slipping away despite your best efforts. Many men mistakenly believe that endless kindness, extravagant gifts, and constant attention are the keys to earning a woman's admiration. But here's a bitter truth. This approach not only fails to achieve your goal, but can quickly lead to your own emotional downfall. In this video, we're going to confront this misconception head-on with a powerful blend of stoic philosophy and practical advice. We'll delve into how you can end a woman's contempt and make her deeply regret her actions, all while staying true to yourself and maintaining your dignity. It's not about playing games or seeking revenge. It's about reclaiming your self-respect and setting clear boundaries. Prepare to challenge the norms and discover how to take control of your situation. This is not for the faint-hearted. It's for those ready to embrace a stoic mindset and transform their interactions. If you're ready to regain your power and demand the respect you deserve, hit that like button, subscribe, and join us as we explore the path to ending contempt and restoring your self-worth. Now, let's begin. Number one, the well has been depleted. Let's not beat around the bush. It's time for some real talk. You are the one responsible for the way this woman has come to disrespect you. How? By treating her like she's on a pedestal, showering her with gifts, endless attention, and promises that have no substance. You've convinced yourself that by doing these things, you'll somehow regain the respect that she's long since thrown away. But here's the cold, hard truth. This approach is not only misguided, but doomed to fail. Each time you spend your hard-earned money to cater to her whims, each time you bend over backward to please her, you're sending a clear message. You're teaching her that she can manipulate you without any effort. Through your actions, you're telling her that all she has to do is show a little indifference, maybe a touch of coldness, and you'll come running, eager to offer more. She's learned that she can get what she wants with minimal effort, simply by exploiting your desire for her approval. And trust me, she will keep exploiting this as long as you allow it. From a stoic perspective, this behavior is not just self-destructive, it's a surrender of your personal power and dignity. Stoicism teaches us to value self-respect and to understand that external validation, especially from someone who doesn't value us, is meaningless. A woman who expects bribes in exchange for respect isn't just playing games. She's manipulating you. She knows exactly what she's doing. And as long as you keep feeding this dynamic, you're digging yourself deeper into a hole of emotional dependency. So, how do you change this? The answer lies in embracing a stoic mindset. Stop. Just stop. Cease spending your time, money, and energy on someone who clearly does not value you. By draining the well, by cutting off the supply, you remove her power to manipulate you. When she realizes that her tactics are no longer effective, She'll be left confused and unsure of how to proceed. She'll start to question why you're no longer responding to her cues. This is where the power dynamic shifts in your favor. A stoic man who understands the difference between genuine interest and interest fueled by material gain is not easily fooled. You need to develop this emotional insight and put it into practice immediately. Stop being the cash dispenser, the provider, the doormat for someone who has only shown you contempt. By refusing to continue on this path, you're not just protecting yourself from further disrespect. You're reclaiming your self-respect. If you continue trying to buy her respect and affection, you're setting yourself up for a life of constant disappointment and disrespect. She'll continue to treat you poorly, knowing she can get away with it whenever she wants something. And the blame for that, my friend, 
will lie squarely on your shoulders. Number two, displaying indifference. From an early age, we're taught that ignoring bad behavior and rewarding good behavior is key in all areas of life. Whether it's training a pet or navigating human relationships, this principle holds true. But many men tend to forget this vital lesson when it comes to romantic relationships, particularly when a woman begins to show them disrespect. Let's take a moment to reflect on Stoic philosophy, which emphasizes self-control, inner strength, and the power of your own mind. When a woman starts treating you poorly, what is your instinctive response? For many men, it's to chase after her, desperately trying to regain what they believe is slipping away. This is where a critical mistake is made. Instead of reacting emotionally, a Stoic would advise you to practice indifference, one of your most potent tools. Imagine this. You're dating someone who starts belittling you, treating you with contempt. Your natural reaction might be to try harder to win her approval, thinking that by doing so, you can mend the relationship. However, this only reinforces her negative behavior. You're essentially telling her that no matter how she treats you, you'll always be there, seeking her validation. This is a major misstep in the eyes of a Stoic. Instead, embrace indifference, not just toward her disrespectful actions, but toward the person she's becoming in the relationship. By doing so, you force her to confront a reality she's not prepared for, the loss of control. No one, especially someone accustomed to being in the driver's seat, likes to be ignored. When you withdraw your attention, you create a powerful shift. She begins to see that her tactics, which may have been encouraged by friends or so-called relationship experts, are failing. Her attempts to control or belittle you are driving you further away, not drawing you closer. This is where the real transformation happens. The more you withhold your attention, the more control you regain over the situation. She starts to realize that her behavior, rather than keeping you in check, is pushing you away. This realization can be a powerful catalyst for change she may begin to reassess her actions, not because she has suddenly developed a newfound respect, but because she recognizes that losing you is a real possibility. If you want to make a woman regret not respecting you, the strategy is simple yet profound. Stop giving your attention to those who don't deserve it. Show her through your actions that you are not someone to be taken for granted or controlled at her whim. When she sees that she has lost your interest, she will undoubtedly regret her actions. Ultimately, it's up to her to demonstrate that she values you and respects you. Because if she doesn't, you will be perfectly content to move on, confident in your own worth. In this way, you embody the stoic principles of self-respect, inner strength, and emotional control. You refuse to be manipulated or disrespected, and in doing so, you not only regain your power, but also earn the respect you deserve. Number three, reclaim your personal power. When a woman disrespects you or dismisses your feelings, it may feel as though her opinion is the final word on your worth. But in reality, what's happening is that you're unknowingly surrendering your personal power to her. This is more significant than it might seem. You're allowing her to dictate your emotions, your decisions, and ultimately, your life. In Stoicism, this is the exact opposite of what we strive for. Stoic philosophy teaches us to maintain control over our own minds and actions, no matter the external circumstances. The pivotal moment comes when you make a crucial decision to take back what has always been yours, your power over your own life. This starts with understanding a core Stoic belief. No one has the right to undermine your dignity or treat you as if you're not worthy of respect. Marcus Aurelius, 
a renowned Stoic philosopher, reminds us that we have the power over our mind, not outside events. Once you internalize this, you recognize that her disrespect is merely an external event, one that has no bearing on your true worth unless you allow it. To reclaim your personal power, you must reevaluate your priorities and establish firm boundaries. Do not let her disregard for you dictate your actions or decisions. You have nothing to prove, especially not to someone who fails to see your value. The key here is to remember your own intrinsic worth, something that is not dependent on the opinions of others, but is rooted deeply in who you are. As Epictetus, another Stoic philosopher said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This isn't about being rude or seeking revenge. Stoicism teaches us to rise above such pettiness. Instead, it's about taking control of your life and refusing to settle for anything less than you deserve. By focusing on your own growth and well-being, you gain a clearer perspective. You begin to understand that your worth is not defined by her or anyone else, but by the standards you set for yourself. Once you reclaim your personal power, her opinion loses its grip on you. And here's the irony. It's at this very moment that she may start to realize what she's lost. The control she once held over you disappears, leaving her to confront the reality that she no longer has the influence she once took for granted. Here's the crucial point. When you reclaim your personal power, you start to attract people who truly respect and value you for who you are. People who don't need to belittle others to feel important. This is the path to true emotional freedom and the foundation of healthy relationships built on mutual respect. So, take the necessary steps. Regain control of your life. Rediscover your self-worth and move on from those who failed to give you the respect you deserve. By doing so, you'll realize that you were always the most important person in this story. And with your personal power restored, you will naturally draw in the respect and admiration that was always rightfully yours. Remember, in the words of Seneca, no one can put a chain around your neck without your permission. If you've made it this far and found this video valuable, we'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment below saying, reclaim my power to let us know how this content has resonated with you. Your feedback means a lot and helps us create even more helpful content. Thanks for your support. Now let's continue. Number four, move on. Here's a truth rooted deeply in stoic wisdom. If a woman disrespects you, it often stems from her belief that she holds power over your emotions. She senses your dependency, your willingness to bend to her will, and she uses it to her advantage. This is where you must take responsibility for allowing such a dynamic to persist. In Stoicism, we learn that control over our own minds and actions is paramount. You cannot change how someone else behaves, but you can decide how you respond. To break free from this cycle of disrespect, you must show both her and yourself that you are not bound by her whims. You have choices, choices that you are not afraid to exercise. Too often, men become emotionally dependent on a woman, always available, always waiting, which only reinforces her belief that she can treat you however she pleases. The stoic response to this situation is to stand firm in your values. Make it clear that you are looking for a relationship built on mutual respect, not manipulation. If she chooses to play games or engage in behavior that undermines your self-worth, let her go without hesitation. Redirect your energy toward finding someone who aligns with your principles and who values you for who you are. This decision is not about playing mind games. It's about reclaiming your power and setting boundaries that reflect your self-respect. By walking away from a toxic situation, 
you send a strong message. You know your worth, and you will not settle for less. If she truly cares for you, she will realize that her disrespectful behavior is pushing you away and that you are prepared to move on to someone who truly values you. Imagine a scenario where you tell her calmly and confidently that you won't tolerate being treated as an afterthought. You explain that you're serious about finding a meaningful connection, and if she isn't willing to offer the respect you require, you're ready to walk away. This is a powerful moment, one where the balance shifts. No longer are you the one begging for her attention. Now she sees that you are a man who stands firm in his principles, a man who refuses to be emotionally manipulated. This shift in dynamic often brings about regret. Once she understands that you won't be controlled or disrespected, she may begin to see the true value of what she is losing. The respect she withheld now becomes something she realizes she must earn. This isn't about playing hard to get. It's about demonstrating that you honor yourself too much to allow anyone to treat you poorly. Remember, the most important person in this equation is you. You deserve to be with someone who appreciates and values you, not someone who dismisses your worth. Moving on is not just an act of self-preservation, it's a declaration of your commitment to living according to your own standards. Don't look back, because your future holds the possibility of a relationship that truly honors who you are. Number five, embrace the power of letting go. This step might be the toughest, but it's also the most liberating. Don't hesitate to let her go. In Stoicism, we learn that the things outside our control should not dictate our inner peace. Often, the disdain and disrespect you're experiencing are clear signals that the relationship has reached its end, and continuing to hold on will only bring you more pain and distress. The fear of loss or loneliness can cloud your judgment, making it difficult to see the reality that lies before you. Letting go isn't about surrendering or showing weakness. On the contrary, it's a profound act of strength and self-respect. It demonstrates that you understand your own worth, that you deserve better, and that you are worthy of respect and honor. If she's unwilling to give you that, it's time to let go. The hesitation to do so often comes from an inner fear, an anxiety that you won't find someone better or that you'll remain alone forever. But the truth is, by letting go, you create space for new connections with people who genuinely appreciate and respect you for who you are, not just for what you can provide. Consider this, when you finally let go, releasing the fear that held you captive, that's often when she starts to realize what she's lost. She'll feel the void of your absence, and if there was any genuine feeling left in her, she'll regret the disdain and actions that led to this point. But remember, the act of letting go is not about making her regret. It's about reclaiming your own well-being. It's about freeing yourself from a situation that drains your energy and hinders your happiness. In Stoicism, we are taught to focus on what we can control, our own thoughts, actions, and reactions. By letting go, you regain control over your life and emotions. You are no longer held hostage by the actions or attitudes of another person. This is not just about walking away, it's about walking toward a better version of yourself. So don't let fear hold you back. Letting go could mark the beginning of a new, more fulfilling chapter in your life. Have the courage to release what no longer serves you, and you'll find that life will bring you something far better. And most importantly, remember, you're never truly alone. By releasing what's not right for you, you're opening the door to new possibilities, fresh connections, and a life where you're valued for who you truly are. In the end, 
The greatest power lies not in making her regret losing you, but in finding the strength to move forward with dignity and self-respect. Number six, cultivate a life beyond the relationship. One of the gravest mistakes many men fall into is centering their entire life around a relationship, especially when faced with disrespect or disdain from a partner. The instinct might tell you to double down on your efforts to save the relationship, thinking that if you sacrifice enough, show enough dedication, or prove your worth, you can win back her affection and respect. But this mindset is a dangerous trap, one that the Stoics would urge you to avoid at all costs. According to Stoic wisdom, the key to living a fulfilling life is to focus on what is within your control and let go of what is not. By making the relationship the axis around which your entire existence revolves, you are surrendering your power to someone who no longer values it. This act of self-abandonment is seen as a weakness, not just by her, but more importantly, by yourself. It erodes your sense of self-worth and reinforces the negative dynamic that's already in play. Consider this example. You're a skilled craftsman, capable of creating beautiful things. Instead of honing your craft and building something meaningful, you spend all your energy trying to repair a broken tool that no longer serves its purpose. The more time you spend on it, the less time you have to create something new and valuable. The same applies to a relationship that has become a source of pain and disrespect. The more you pour into it, the more you neglect your own growth and potential. The stoic approach, therefore, is to redirect your energy towards enriching your own life beyond the confines of this troubled relationship. Focus on your personal development, whether it's advancing your career, pursuing your passions, or engaging in hobbies that bring you joy. Strengthen your existing friendships, make new connections, and seek out experiences that broaden your horizons. By doing so, you demonstrate that your happiness and fulfillment are not dependent on anyone else's approval. This shift in focus not only helps you restore your self-esteem, but also sends a powerful message. You are not a man who begs for respect. You are a man who commands it by living a life of purpose and integrity. And when she sees that you are no longer playing the role of a desperate lover, clinging to a relationship that doesn't serve you, the dynamics will begin to shift. She may start to question her own behavior and regret the way she has treated you. But here's the most important part. The true victory lies not in her regret, but in your own transformation. By cultivating a life that is rich and fulfilling, independent of any relationship, you regain the clarity and strength to see what truly matters. You will be prepared to move forward with dignity, whether that means giving her another chance or walking away without a backward glance. Remember, the Stoics teach us that our true power lies within. By focusing on what you can control, your actions, your growth, your mindset, you free yourself from the chains of negativity and become someone who others naturally respect and admire. And the best part? You'll never have to beg for anyone's respect again because you'll have already earned it by living a life true to yourself. Number seven, embrace complete detachment. One of the most powerful strategies against a woman's disregard is to embrace complete detachment a principle deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy. When we talk about detachment, we are not merely referring to acting indifferent. It means cultivating genuine emotional independence. This is not just a tactic, but a mindset, a shift in how you perceive yourself and the situation. Let's be honest. Detachment is challenging, especially when emotions are involved. You might still have feelings for her, but here's the stoic truth. You must understand that your happiness, your peace of mind, does not and should not depend on her actions. 
Detachment is a tool that restores your control over your emotions and subsequently over the situation itself. Imagine this, a woman who is used to manipulating your emotions and watching you chase after her whenever she withdraws. This gives her a sense of power, a belief that she holds sway over you. But when you adopt the stoic stance of detachment, you break this cycle. The moment you stop allowing her actions to affect you, the dynamic shifts. She loses the influence she once had. And this, my friend, strikes a blow to her ego. Stoic detachment means you remain calm and composed, regardless of how she behaves. You no longer react to her provocations, and you certainly don't seek her validation or approval. You simply continue with your life as if her actions are of no consequence. This is where the real power of stoic detachment lies. By showing that you are unfazed, you communicate that your sense of self-worth is independent of her opinions or actions. Consider the story of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, who taught that we should focus only on what we can control, our thoughts and actions. By embodying this principle, you show her that her attempts to control or manipulate you are futile. She'll notice that she no longer holds the reins and this will unsettle her. When a woman realizes that she no longer has the power to sway your emotions, she is forced to reconsider her actions. This newfound indifference on your part compels her to reflect on how she has treated you. She begins to understand that her lack of respect and her games could lead to losing you entirely, a loss she likely didn't anticipate. No one likes to lose something they once took for granted, especially when they realize its value too late. Maintaining this stoic indifference is essential, not just for regaining your dignity, but for earning the respect you deserve. It shows her that you are not her emotional puppet, but a man who understands his value and refuses to be manipulated. When she truly grasps that she has lost you, she may find herself in a position she never expected, trying to win you back. So, stand firm in your detachment. Let your actions and your calm, unbothered demeanor speak louder than words. By doing so, you not only regain control, but also reinforce the respect you command in any relationship. This is the essence of stoic wisdom applied to modern relationships. By mastering yourself, you master the situation. Number eight, the power of self-respect. Let's be clear. The most profound way to make a woman regret not respecting you is by first cultivating and demonstrating unwavering self-respect. In the eyes of Stoicism, how others treat you is often a reflection of how you perceive and treat yourself. If you've allowed disrespect to creep into your relationship, it's crucial to recognize that this behavior not only speaks to her actions, but also reveals something about your own standards and self-worth. Stoicism teaches us that we control our reactions, not the actions of others. The key to regaining respect lies in how you choose to respond. When you elevate your self-respect, you set a standard, a line that others must meet if they want to remain in your life. This isn't about being arrogant or self-righteous. It's about understanding your intrinsic value and refusing to accept anything that diminishes it. Take the time to assess your boundaries. Are they clear and firm? Do they reflect the respect you hold for yourself? For example, if a woman consistently undermines or manipulates you, a stoic response would be to address this calmly and directly. You might say, I value our relationship, but I also value myself. The way things are now doesn't align with the respect I have for myself. This simple yet powerful statement makes your expectations clear and puts the ball in her court. By upholding these standards, you not only command respect from others, but also reinforce your own self-worth. 
This often causes the woman to reconsider her behavior, realizing that she has crossed a line that you will not allow to be crossed again. She may start to see the strength in your resolve and, as a result, regret her actions. In the end, respect is a mutual exchange, but it must start with you. The moment you begin to respect yourself deeply is the moment others have no choice but to respect you too, or risk losing you altogether. This is the essence of Stoic wisdom, standing firm in your values, remaining composed, and allowing others to come to terms with the standards you've set. Number 9. Prioritize Yourself We've reached the final point, the most challenging and pivotal decision you'll ever make in your journey to reclaim your dignity and self-respect. Prioritize yourself. Throughout this journey, seeking respect and managing the contempt of others, there's a harsh reality that many are reluctant to face. You should never have to fight so hard to earn someone's respect. The choice before you isn't about her or whether she'll realize what she lost. The choice is about you and how you choose to live your life. Choosing yourself is the most powerful and decisive action you can take. It's a declaration that you recognize your worth and that you will no longer trade your dignity and self-respect for scraps of attention. By choosing yourself, you send a clear and unyielding message to the universe. I am enough. I am complete. And I will only accept what enhances, honors, and values me into my life. This is the ultimate final blow. When you choose yourself, you close the door on all the toxicity, disrespect, and emotional manipulation that have drained you for so long. You free yourself to be who you are, to pursue what you genuinely deserve, and to refuse to settle for anything less. By choosing yourself, you embark on a new journey where you are the main character, and your needs, dreams, and well-being take precedence. Consider the teachings of Stoicism, which remind us that our power lies in our ability to control our reactions, not the actions of others. By prioritizing yourself, you are not just walking away from someone who doesn't respect you. You're embracing the stoic principle of self-governance. You are choosing to focus on what you can control, your actions, your thoughts, and your own self-respect. Imagine this. You've been pouring all your energy into someone who barely acknowledges your efforts. They take you for granted, expecting you to always be there, always waiting. But now, you shift your focus. You start investing that energy back into yourself. You pursue your passions. You take care of your well-being. And you surround yourself with people who genuinely value you. Suddenly, the dynamic changes. The person who once disrespected you begins to notice the shift. They realize you're no longer available at their beck and call. They sense the loss of your attention and care. And in that moment, they feel regret. They see what they've lost because you've shown them that your worth is not dependent on their recognition. This is how you make a woman regret not respecting you. Not by trying to change her mind, but by changing your focus. By elevating yourself, you naturally distance yourself from those who don't value you, creating a space where only those who truly appreciate your worth can enter. As we close this chapter, remember that the respect, dignity, and worth you seek in relationships aren't determined by others' actions, but by how you choose to regard yourself. If there's one lesson to take from today, let it be this. You should never have to struggle for something that should be naturally yours. The most impactful decision you can make is to prioritize yourself. There is no greater triumph than that. When you prioritize yourself and refuse to settle for less than you deserve, everything around you starts to shift. Those who don't appreciate your value will drift away, while those who recognize your true worth will draw near. This transformation begins within you, 
and only you can initiate it. The power lies with you, and you have the ability to shape your life as you wish. If you've made it this far and found this video valuable, we'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment below saying, put myself first, to let us know how this content has resonated with you. Your feedback means a lot and helps us create even more helpful content. Thanks for your support. Now, let's continue. We've journeyed through a transformative exploration of Stoic wisdom, tailored for those who are ready to reclaim their dignity and self-respect in relationships. As we've seen, respect is not something to be bought or begged for. It is earned through self-worth and a steadfast commitment to your principles. Stoicism isn't just a philosophical concept. It's a practical guide that teaches us to focus on what we can control, our actions and our attitudes. Remember, the true measure of your worth comes not from the approval of others, but from the strength and respect you cultivate within yourself. By embracing Stoic principles, you ensure that your relationships are not just about getting respect, but about giving it to yourself first and foremost. If this video resonated with you, don't forget to like and share it. Your engagement helps us reach more people who might benefit from these teachings. Leave a comment below with your thoughts or experiences regarding the power of Stoicism in relationships. We'd love to hear how these strategies have impacted your life. And if you're eager for more insights, be sure to check out the recommended videos on your screen now. They're curated to further enhance your understanding and application of Stoic principles in everyday life. Thank you for joining us. And remember, the path to respect and self-worth begins with a single, decisive step towards embracing your intrinsic value. Subscribe to stay updated with our latest content. And here's to living a life of dignity and respect. Until next time, take care and stay stoic.